What's good folks? Runs here. Tonight's soap review is going to feature Barrister's Reserve Spice. If you'll recall, the uh, Barrister's Reserve line was released in June of 2017. Uh, this was one of the initial offerings along with uh, Cool and Classic. And I think I've reviewed both of those. As well as the uh, second offerings, which was uh, Lavender and Fern. Um, Barrister's Reserve is their lanolin-free formula. And it's um, super versatile formula. It's uh, supposedly able to uh, lather in very salinated water. Uh, I've never tried myself, but I believe the uh, statement to be true. Um, reserve itself, the base in the uh, brand, um, it aims to recreate classic scents of yesteryear that uh, have been discontinued for whatever reason. You can uh, purchase this directly from Barrister and Man's website or from 30 third party resellers such as uh, megagrazers.com. Alright, the uh, scent on spice is a recreation of Shulton's Old Spice, which was the uh, original scent formulation. And um, it contains notes of carnation, nutmeg, vanilla, as well as tonka bean. This scent, uh, many of you already know it because you, you know, you've smelt it in the past. Whether it's the new formulation, which is similar but not the same, uh, or you've smelt it, uh, you know, growing up or through purchase of, you know, vintage bottles of the aftershave. But the scent itself is uh, rich and uh, spicy. Not overly spicy, but it's got a nice little spiciness to it. It's warming almost. Um, it's basically your your classic grandfather's scent, if you will. Um, I enjoy it. It's not my favorite scent, but I certainly appreciate the uh, meaning behind the scent for many people. And uh, it's, you know, a winner if you're into this scent genre or you're into the... Uh, the old aspects of the hobby, if you will. Scent strength itself is mid, both off of the uh, sample that I've smashed into my bowl, and it remains that way once lathered. And uh, for comparable scents in the market, the two closest I know of are the uh, Soap Commander Endurance and the Cooper and French Old Goat. All right, uh, performance, you all know by now, is uh, elite level. Number one in my den still. Um, the reserve base itself takes a slight back seat to glissant in my opinion, but it's certainly ahead of everything else. It has elite level cushion and density. When properly dialed in, this is like a, a sour cream right out of the refrigerator um, displays a nice sheen to it it's not overly thirsty but again it uh, manages any type of water uh, with mineral content you can uh, find the slickness is absolutely you know oil on glass slick and the post shave is just luxurious so the overall shave score for this base, like Glissant, is a 97. And for comparable soap bases, I recommend you checking out Talbot Shaving and Katie's Bubbles Luxury Soap Formula. All right, folks, we're back. Barrister's Reserve Spice. As you can see, excellent dome and face lather, no irritation, no nicks, no cuts. Good formula, soap, nice scent. This is a must-have if you're into classic wet shaving scents. Um, even if you're not a uh, big Old Spice person, I, I highly recommend you at least give this one one shot. This sample was uh, procured from Maggot Razors, I want to say maybe 325 So definitely check out Barrister and Man. Uh, Barrister's Reserve Spice if you're uh, at all interested. 
As always, thumbs up the video if you like it. Comment below if you have anything to say. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. See ya.